A Fallbrook mother contacted 10 News after her family's brand new puppy mysteriously died over the weekend. Tonight, she has a warning for other pet owners. The woman saw a previous report from Team 10 about toxic plants and began her own investigation. 10 News reporter Candace Crone with why she believes something in their own backyard is to blame. It's clear from these pictures, 11-week-old Moose brought so much joy to the Canoose kids for the short amount of time he was part of their family. Just a shock, you know, you only have a puppy for a week and it's very hard for them to understand. Kathy Canoose and her kids were playing outside last week when they noticed Moose chewing on these cones. Minutes later, the puppy got really sick and the family worried. He threw up uh, about three or four more times and, you know, we knew right away, like, something's wrong. We need to get him to an emergency vet. Canoose's husband rushed the yellow lab to the vet where she says they thought the puppy had a bad reaction to a bee sting or a spider bite. Canoose News believes it was the plant that killed the dog. Team 10 did an investigation on toxic plants and found many pet owners don't know which can be dangerous. Tanu sent pictures of the plant Moose was chewing on to a botanist who believes the cones are magnolia fruit. Some experts say ingesting the seeds can be toxic. You feel like what did we do wrong? You know what? Were we not watching him enough? Canoose didn't order test results to confirm what killed her dog, but she says all signs point to the plant. She urges pet owners to do their research and make sure what's growing in your yard is safe for everyone. You, know, you just need to be aware of those things so you can just watch over your, your pets and, and your family. Reporting in Fallbrook, Candace Crone, 10 News. So sad. 10 News did reach out to the emergency vet clinic, but so far we haven't heard back. Canoe says it'll be a while before they add a new pet to their family.